Welcome to the Glengarry Tramway Update. Welcome to update number five. As you can probably see behind me, um, we're not in Scarborough, we're actually in North Wales. Each year around October and November, uh, we try to make the trek over here, um, primarily as a bit of a holiday, but equally to visit um, a lot of the sites that uh, North Wales has to offer. This year has been slightly different because we actually started out for a few days in Mid Wales. This allowed us to visit um, the CAT Centre for Alternative Technology because they've got a funicular that runs on water so we went to film that. We also went to the Tally Flynn Railway and did some filming there and also the Corris Railway and filmed a little on there. But it was absolutely chucking it down so um, we'll have to have a look at the raw footage and see if we've got enough to use. Then we moved up to North Wales and uh, we're actually in Port Maddock. And uh, the reason we come to Port Maddock a lot is A, the beautiful scenery plus the autumn colours. But North Wales has a rich heritage of uh, industrialisation in the form of mining and quarrying. And the principal things are after, other than gold, uh, lead, copper, uh, the main thing was slate. Now Welsh slate is well renowned as being one of the best uh, you can get your hands on. Indeed, most of um, England's um, big cities, um, when they were under major expansion, were roofed with Welsh slate. And they reckon you put Welsh slate on a roof and it's good for a hundred years. But that has left problems in Wales, in so much as the scars, and they are big scars. The problem when you're mining slate is it's very brittle and uh, the amount of wastage you get can be up to, for every one tonne of usable slate, you can have ten tonnes of waste. And what do you do with it? Well, basically they just dumped it on the hillsides after they'd finished mining. So great areas of Wales are scarred by these uh, slate heaps uh, that actually tower above the houses and everything else. Nowadays they are starting to use some of it. Um, they can grind it up and uh, use it in uh, when they're laying roads and also there's quite a fashion for having crush slate and that in your garden as for decorative purposes. <laughs> Here in North Wales and around Port Maddock, um, we've been to have a look at the uh, Festinio Railway. We had a look at the slate caverns up at um, Leckweld, which is by now Festinio. Uh, that is an incredible place, it's just like a different world up there, um, high up in the mountains um, above Port, and it's probably um, just, just behind me actually.
to link Blinor down to the port here, um, they built a railway, gravity railway, and uh, the wagons loaded with slaves to set off high up in the mountains, and with the skill of a brakeman, um, they could freewheel all the way down to the port. Then they had a problem, had to get them back again. So what they did was they used to hook some wagons on the back of these slate trains and stick some horses in and the horses used to have to haul them all the way back up to Blino. Pretty soon um, this was creating big delays in production because they could mine the stuff faster than they could get rid of it. So then somebody came up with a locomotive that could run on these tracks. Now these tracks are narrow gauge very tight corners, very limited clearances, so it was a very compact, powerful engine that they came up with. Eventually, over the years, these became even more sophisticated with what they call the double fairies, which are two low cars joined together with a chimney at each end, a driving bogey at each end, two boilers, one firebox, and they were sort of the, uh, the ultimate progression in the design. steam engines spread far and wide all the way through the quarries of uh, Wales and even ended up going abroad um, because the amount of punch they packed for the size of the engines was phenomenal and they could do the work of dozens of horses. Fortunately a lot of these um, quarries and uh, uh, mine workings um, have been sort of preserved and uh, one or two of them have been made into tourist uh, attractions where you can go and tour around and learn the heritage. So while we've been up here we've also been to film Lamberry Slate Mine. Um, there's uh, an incline on there, the uh, V2 incline at Vivian Quarry. Uh, we photographed that for the website uh, a few years ago but we've been attending some video and while we were there we got talking to one of the um, workers at the site and he explained the whole working of the system and how the locos coupled in with the inclines and working practices and uh, we're going to build a new layout um, it's going to be Diane's layout and uh, it's going to feature a little Welsh um, slate quarry and uh, we're going to try and incorporate all these different aspects that we've seen and learned uh, into a little model that we'll take around exhibitions if it's good enough. So, uh, time will tell. Um, all the films we've done, it'll take us a few weeks to edit them and uh, we shall put them up on the website and on the YouTube site as well. Um, please feel free to comment, um, good or bad, um, we don't mind and uh, hope to see you in the next one. Till then.